talking to the female because she is most important in breaking the people the woman sisters if you're gonna take the people down you take the woman down first then she leads the nation down if you're gonna take the nation up you take the woman up she pulls the nation up when you teach a man you teach an individual but when you teach a woman you're teaching a people because whatever she knows she passes it to her children that's why a woman is so important to the people well the slave master understood that he said we must pay attention to her and her little nigger offspring and break her so that she won't look to this strong nigger man she going to look to us. Now look at the way he did this. He said, bring the strongest nigger man you can find. Bring him out. And bring the nigger woman and her nigger baby and stand them and make them watch what we do. Then tie the leg of the nigger man to a horse here and the leg the other leg to a horse there then tar and feather that nigger and set him on fire then when the horses start pulling going in two different direction they'll pull that nigger apart in front of his woman and the little nigger baby and she'll be frozen psychologically because she's looking at what she's supposed to depend on. She's looking at the man she's supposed to have as her protector, her provider. And now she knows he has no power to protect her. So she stops looking at him. And she starts looking to us. Now watch how this goes. Take the next strong nigger man and bring him out. Don't kill him, but beat him within an inch of his life. Take that bull whip. And as you're lashing him and he's screaming and crying out and begging for mercy, had that nigger woman and that nigger baby watching. And as you're beating him and he's screaming and crying out, she's watching. This is her man. Now you're breaking him. And you've broken her. So when she produces a female child, she makes that child just like herself, independent of the male, dependent on the master. And then out of her natural protective instinct of her male children, she'll break them herself and they'll grow up with a strong body but a weak mind and she'll be out front and the man will be behind her and frightened. Now brothers and sisters, this is 2005. If you look at the ratio of women to men in college, it's the women. You look at the courses that they're taking, law, medicine, engineering, science. You hear, oh, I'm, I'm in phys ed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mean they're in ceramics courses here, brother? Now, the female has no male counterpart now that is intelligent enough to handle her mind. Now, listen to me. Wait, wait, wait. Now, listen, listen, listen. This is classroom. My dear brothers and sisters, look. The female more intelligent than the male 
you think you handle her through sex. Now, it may be all right the first time. <laughs> may be all right the second and third time. But when she realizes that you ain't got it here, and you start talking and you can't converse because you can't keep up with where her head is, then all of a sudden the sex begins to fade. Honey, I'm tired. <laughs> but baby. <laughs> you know, class always should be fun. The learning process should be joy. You know, so I try to make learning fun, but yet I'm cracking, but I'm straight up facking. That's right. See? Now look at this. Sisters, when you get like that, you begin to wonder about men. Because you try one man, and he don't work out. Oh, I s you tell your friends, I saw this brother, honey, he plays football. And I mean, he is buffed. And, well, I sure would like to get next to him. So we was at the dance the other night and I winked at him and he winked back and it's on, girl. <laughs> Six months later, damn! <laughs> and don't get married. Oh my Lord. The honeymoon don't last too long at all. And you know what's wrong, sisters? You have a natural expectation of us that we have been mentally destroyed to fulfill. So you get dissatisfied with us because we're not what you had hoped and thought and expected that we would be. So you go from one man to another, one disappointment to another, and then after a while you say, to hell with it. I'll buy me a toy at the store. <laughs>